pleasant day everyone. I am Jerwin P. Guba, a Supervising Science Research Specialist of the Solutions Services Engineering Division or SSED under the DOST ASTI. I will be sharing with you one of our locally designed and developed field sensors that we call Tandem Station. Thinking of saving lives and livelihood from natural disasters and to never repeat history with what happened with typhoons like Yolanda in 2014, the DOST ASTI has implemented a few disaster related projects and deployed a dense number of hydrometeorological and warning stations nationwide known as field sensors. In January 2021, the Institute created the MASID project, which stands for Meteorological Data Acquisition Station for Information Dissemination to maintain the deployed field sensors across the country, and that includes the Tandem Station. The Tandem Station is basically a combination of our Automated Rain Gauge, or ARG, and the Water Level Monitoring Station, or WLMS. The ERG measures the rainfall amount, duration, and intensity while the WLMS measures water levels and the rate of change of water level in critical flood-prone areas. Having a dual purpose, the tandem station can gather and record rainfall parameters and water level simultaneously. It has six major components an ultrasonic sensor enclosed in a metal housing, precipitation sensor, solar panel, control box, satellite antenna, and a pole mast with an extended cross arm. The ERG uses a pronomic single spoon tipping bucket type rain gauge sensor which measures rainfall by counting the number of times the spoon tips as it catches a certain amount of rain through its RFS within a specified time duration. On the other hand, the WLMS uses a Scenix ultrasonic sensor capable of non-contact measurement of the distance between the tip of the sensor and the surface of the water. This is made possible by sending pulses of ultrasound waves coming from the sensor's transducer towards the target object or surface water and measuring the time of flight that the echo bounces back to the sensor. This is similar to how bats uh, use sound waves to navigate around dark caves. Each monitoring station is also equipped with a built-in pressure module sensor which can measure or detect drop in atmospheric pressure which can indicate a presence of a low pressure area or a tropical depression within the vicinity. The tandem stations are programmed to collect sensor data every predetermined interval, normally every 10 minutes, which are then wirelessly transmitted via SMS through the cellular network in case of failed attempts to send the data due to a GSM service unavailability the station is equipped with a satellite transceiver as a backup communication channel. The collected data are near real-time and accessible to the public at the Field Sensors Visualization website, also developed by the OST ASTI. Aside from using the data for national forecasts by PAGASA, Application Protocol Interface or API Accounts are also shared to the partner agencies and stakeholders for their research, analysis, simulation, and local forecast. The Tandem Station has a variety of benefits. For one, it is fully automated and can be configured wirelessly. The Tandem Station is also rugged and easily deployable. Its mechanical structure is designed to be simple, robust, and easy to install on existing bridges or platforms at the target deployment sites without the need for special tools or heavy equipment. Aside from this, majority of its components are locally available 
meaning the whole station can be easily assembled and reproduced in a large quantity domestically, making it cost-effective compared to foreign counterparts. Overall, a total of 179 tandem stations have been deployed nationwide, mostly in North Luzon and Central Visayas. The DOST ASTI engaged partnership with DOST PAGASA to determine and validate the sites where the tandem stations are installed to maximize the potential of the station to form part and complement the PAGASA's existing flood monitoring network along the major river basin system in the Philippines. As mentioned, the data collected from the tandem stations are made available to academes, government agencies, even private institutions for applications including but not limited to research and development, academic, disaster risk management, national security, and non-commercial or non-profit use. This data use is subject to DOSTST's End User Licensing Agreements or EULA Terms and Conditions. Since 2019, the Institute has released 81 EULAs for tandem stations alone. Furthermore, we are planning to expand the tandem station deployment across the country through licensing the technologies to micro, small, and medium enterprises or MSMEs. This will hopefully add to the current tandem stations installed in the country. The DOST ASTI is anticipating two official licenses for the tandem station by the end of this year. With this said, DOST ASTI aims to continuously contribute in strengthening the country's efforts on disaster risk reduction and mitigation one field sensors at a time. Thank you.